Scamming has become the new trapping for a young generation of rappers. And when it comes to the growing subgenre of scam rap, the mark of choice is credit card fraud, recently referenced by the City Girls and ASAP Rocky. But a handful of rappers aren't just talking about scamming, they're breaking it down step by step. And nobody does it with as much detail as Detroit's TJX6. Genius News spoke with him about being the current face of scam rap. Only reason I'm going outside is going to an ATM or a bank. I'm about to teach you how to swipe from these little lessons. First, you gotta find a site for you to load on. When you go hit the Bitcoin, you can't be petty, bro. Selling drugs, robbing somebody, you those are all outside activities. It's a lower chance of you risking your, I mean, losing your life doing the scam and shit, then losing your life selling dope and all that bullshit. TJ caught attention with his breakout single, Dark Web, a place on the internet that the average user can't see. Think of it as the underbelly of the internet. It's a network you're only able to access through the Tor network, an encrypted browser that makes it difficult to identify users. The government tried to ban me from the dark web. I downloaded Tor browser, then got back in. When they got a VPN, just bought another VPN. He explained some of these terms to Genius News. Being is just like a, it's like just a debit card. I mean, the first six numbers of the debit card. I'm really helping people in the long run, you know what I mean? Most of TJ's songs are dramatic scam stories that play out like heist movies. Swipe Story tells a tale of a hit at one of America's most popular stores for scammers to purchase expensive electronics and more using stolen bins. Let me tell y'all about this one time at Walmart. Listen, Walked in listen, and played it so smooth, I grabbed the shopping cart. Break my cousin off a couple hundred cause she play her part. I scammed the same Walmart 50 times, I gotta play it smart. And then there's the fraud bible. Actual methods and everything bins, everything. You get the fraud Bible and you get an actual fraud Bible. That's what I'm doing for everybody with this mixtape. So when you buy, when you pre-order it, you get the fraud Bible early, but when you actually buy it, you get the shit. Credit card fraud in the U.S. costs consumers billions of dollars every year. With its references to bins and Bitcoin, scam rap can be found everywhere. From Decatur, Georgia's Money Man, to Brooklyn's Pop Out Boys, who ended up being charged with grand larceny. But recently, scam rap has become much more closely associated with Detroit rappers, like Kasher Kwan, 10K Kev, and Boss Man and rich. Shout out to all my scamming niggas out here getting it in. If you want to talk money, go be in for being. Detroit duo Drago and Bino have also worked closely with scam rappers, though they don't claim to be a part of the scene. They explained to Genius News how scamming became so popular in the Motor City. Young yeah, niggas around this bitch 16 had 200,000, 100,000 running around this bitch more than niggas' daddies, you feel me? It's right now for getting money. Good money. Oh, so man. once they. Find a new hustle is gonna pop. But the rap crew Band Gang really set off the popularity of scam rap in Detroit with member Band Gang Lonnie Bands at the forefront. Shred Gang Boogs is also a collaborator of Lonnie Bands. In September 2018, Boogs was charged with using stolen credit cards to wire money to himself. Federal agents investigating say he was once shot in the face over scamming. The feds say Albert Hill used 3,000 stolen credit cards to fund his fledging music career. Ultimately, he was sentenced to seven years in prison. Self-made cash, like TJX6, also made scamming the focus of his rap persona with song titles like In Swipe I Trust and Swipe God Freestyle. This man on my own bus. In early 2019, Self Made Cash was indicted on charges of wire fraud, aggravated identity theft, and the possession of unauthorized access devices. This indictment goes deeper to highlight Cash's paid training sessions to teach others how to navigate the dark web and purchase stolen credit card info. Cash faces up to 20 years in prison if convicted, highlighting the serious repercussions for scamming. Yet some artists are still lightheartedly rapping about it, like Oakland's Guap Dad 4000, who gave Genius News his own take on the movement. I fuck with TJ. That's his little homie. He, he an angry dude. Like if Black Air Forces was a person, they'd be him. And I'm a scam, 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 scam boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it make me feel so good. Yeah, the scamming make me feel so yeah. good. I knew niggas who was fucking with credit card theft and that's what I wanted to fuck with. Cause I never been a dope boy. Cause most scammers just like me. We in the house. I'm watching Courage the Cowardly Dog come in frog. Long before he became a surprise favorite on the Revenge of the Dreamers 3 album, Guap Dad says he was committing petty crimes to support his siblings and grandparents while his parents were in and out of jail. I got all the equipment. I ordered it off the internet. It wasn't hard to find. One day I hit. I came home with like six Macy's bags and a big brown bag from Bloomingdale's. And my brother sat me down and he said, what are we doing? And it was over from there. 
So Guap Dad took a chance on music. The hustles he ran would become the inspiration for songs like Scam Boy and Scammin. When I pull up at my money, I need half of what I cop. Don't remember what I swipe for, I just know I bought a lot. He even remixed Biggie's 10 Crack Commandments into the masterclass called 10 Scam Commandments. Never put discover on a MasterCard. If you follow these steps, you can master fraud. While fraud and scamming have been going on much longer than scam rap itself, because hip hop often reflects what's already happening in our world, for better or worse, it's a hustle that's proven to be just as captivating as dope dealing in rap's digital age, especially for artists like Guap Dad and TJX6, who's even caught the eye of one of today's biggest producers. Metro Boomin, uh, he just DM'd me randomly and he said he likes my music. And then from there, he sent me a few beats. So I'm really just waiting on now. I'm trying to drop the song with the video with him in it. I'm Hillary with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music.